Last time we learned how the free market and public programs have worked together to cover more Americans than ever before. Despite this achievement, our system is not perfect, as healthcare costs are still out of control. Americans are happy with their care, but scared, worried, and dissatisfied with the state of healthcare. These conflicts led to some important conclusions. Healthcare is a serious issue. We need serious ideas and proposals to improve what's working and fix what's broken. Healthcare is complicated. Our system covers rich and poor, old and young, sick and healthy. We need to continue to put doctors and patients at the center of our system and offer high quality care, options, and choice for all Americans. So when supporters of Medicare for All tell you their plan will fix healthcare, what are they really trying to fix? Medicare for All is a one size fits all proposal for every American. Supporters don't talk about the trillions in higher taxes it'll cost working families or how it'll move healthcare decisions from doctors and patients to politicians and bureaucrats. They don't want anyone to notice that it'll remove patient choice while increasing wait times. On top of that, it won't even address the biggest problem our healthcare system faces, out of control costs. Medicare for all makes for a great slogan, but if something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Politicians in Washington and others campaigning for higher office have touted Medicare for all, only to deflect when pressed on details. Look at Vermont. After electing a governor who supported Medicare for all, the state dropped the proposal when they couldn't figure out how to make it work practically. And a recent poll showed the broad support for Medicare for all dropped like a brick when voters learned they'd lose their current employer-sponsored insurance. Yeah. Healthcare is complicated. Instead of starting from scratch with a single-payer Medicare for All system, shouldn't we be focusing on improving what's working and fixing what's broken? Like protecting coverage for pre-existing conditions or making sure the seven million Americans who have lost coverage in the last two years are covered. Medicare for All isn't a serious proposal. We need to lower costs, protect patient choice, options and benefits, increase access, and strengthen doctor and patient relationships. And when it comes down to it, Medicare for All doesn't offer real answers, only more problems. To learn more, go to americashealthcarefuture.org.